This tutorial is for teachers who want to set up their StoryJumper class but are not using Google Classroom. So here you see that there are a number of next steps for you to do on your class page. If you don't already have a project in mind, then you can click on this link here to find fun writing projects and lesson plans. Once you have a project in mind, then you want to add students to your class so that you can see their books as they're being made. So you can either add your students to your classroom manually or you can have them join your class. So let's click on Get Login Information for Students. And here you see that these are instructions that you can pass on to your students so they can log in. So here are the instructions at the top, which are the instructions if they want to join your class. And at the bottom are the instructions that you would pass along if you created their accounts for them. So let's grab this link and then and also this class password and let's switch over to the student perspective. So we're going to go across here and now we are a student who is entering the join class link that you give to them. And they're going to enter in the class password. And if they already have a Story Jumper account from a previous class or because they've used Story Jumper before on their own, they can click yes. But if they don't have an account, then they would click no. And if they have a school Google account, then they should click sign in with Google here because that's the easiest way to create an account. Otherwise, they can manually create their account. And they can choose their own username or use the one that we give to them. And they should write that down. Then they should create their own password for their own account. And then they'll be in their account here. So they'll see your class name at the top, your picture, and also your name. And then they can click create a book to create their book. So the first thing they're going to see is the tutorial for how to create a book. And they can click through that video and watch that. And then once they're done, they can go in and start creating their book. They can add text, props, scenes, whatever they want. So let's go ahead and add a title to this book called My Amazing Book. And they can also add their voice to fully narrate their entire story. So once they're done for the day, they can click Save and Exit and then Log Out. And then when they want to log back in, they just click log in and they can log in on this page. So let's switch back to the teacher perspective. And then when you go back to your class page, you'll see the new student who has been added. And if you need to reset their password, you can do so here. And you can also click student books to see their book and review it. And you can click through it and also comment on it and provide feedback. So now students will be on their way to publishing and narrating their own hardcover books and becoming published authors.